Hi everyone, it's Ms. Sheffer and welcome to lesson four in Google Slides on how to use the formatting toolbar. So to access the formatting toolbar, we simply need to tap on a text box that is on our slide. And you'll notice that when I do that, I have that black submenu that will appear and that's just from simply tapping one time. So in future lessons, I'm going to show you how to move objects from front to back. So it'll be important to know how to access that black submenu. But the formatting toolbar is at the top. So you're going to see bold is the first command that's selected. If I wanted to unbold, I would just, <clears throat> excuse me, simply tap on that B to apply the format of bold, I tap on bold. Next to bold is italics, then there's the underline, strike through, and then there is the ability to change the colors of my fonts right from that A. I also have the ability to change the highlight color with that highlighter command. Next, I have the ability to align my text. So by default in this text box, it's automatically set to left align. If I wanted to center it, center is the next key um, on that formatting toolbar. So you can see now the title has been centered. I can also right align it. I'm gonna keep it left aligned. The button next to that, <clears throat> excuse me, the button next to that is going an arrow pointing down with a line underneath it. You'll notice when I tap on that, that brings the text to the bottom of that text box. So if I tap on it again, or if I tap that middle button, it's going to bring it into the middle of the text box. If I tap on the arrow pointing up with the line at the top, that's gonna bring it to the top. Here I also have the ability to add a bullet. Um, I don't want to bullet my title, so this was reserved for when I want to add facts. Maybe I want a bulleted list. So if I tap on it, it will go away. Next to the bulleted icon, there is the ability to number. And you may find that useful um, at various points in your presentation if you want to have a numbered list. The button next to the numbers is the ability to indent, increase or decrease the indent of a paragraph. So um, it's already all the way to the left. So that first button is going to decrease the indent to the left. The button next to that, you'll notice it's going to push my text to the right. So when you're working with fonts and you're trying to align things, you may find it necessary to use that increase indent and the decrease indent. The paint bucket next to that in those indent buttons is going to allow you to fill the actual color of the text box. So when I tap on that, you'll notice now the text box itself has been filled with a black background. If I tap on it again, I can select no color. But I also have the ability to add what's called a gradient effect. So you can do this with text boxes, you can do this with shapes as well. So a gradient effect is going to add some really nice visual appeal um, depending on the, the goal and how you want this to end up looking on the slide, but you'll see those gradient effects add um, sort of like a two-tone or um, a fade, faded color effect. And it may or may not look appropriate. Um, it may or may not enhance the overall look of your presentation. Um, you can also take one finger and you can drag that text box up to make it smaller. You can drag it to the left. You don't wanna cut off the words. So you wanna make sure it is large enough so that none of the um, letters are cut off. You can also move that text box. So I could move it anywhere I want it to go with just one finger. If I don't like that gradient effect, we don't want our slides to look too busy and to overwhelm the audience. So we may not want to have any color. So um, use that sparingly and use it only when it's necessary. So that is the fill color and you have, again, you have gradient options and then you also have solid color options. And then fi finally next to that is a border color. So there's currently no border around that text, but maybe you had a label, maybe you were doing something with science and you really wanted a label to stand out. You could 
add a border around that text box. And you can see here it's very thin. But if I really wanted that to pop, when I tap on that, the very last command on this formatting menu is going to allow me to change the weight <clears throat> of this border and I can make it a lot thicker. I can also change the style of the particular border. I could do a dashed border if I needed to for the purposes of my presentation, but I can make that border um, around my text box very thick and so it's going to really stand out. And again, if I wanted to add a color, um, I wouldn't want to do um, yellow, but if I wanted to add a color to that to make it pop, I could. So again, thinking about when and why you would need to do these effects is very, very important. Just because they're available doesn't mean you have to use them. They should really enhance the look of your presentation and not distract your audience from your message. And when you're actually presenting in front of your classmates or maybe you're doing this in a recording, you um, want to keep the focus on your message and not have slides be distracting. So now you know how to access that toolbar, that formatting toolbar, and what all of those different commands mean. And in the next lesson, we're going to learn how to add images to our presentation.